Good morning, church. I'm wearing a Batman shirt today because I want you to be a hero with me. There's a passage of scripture that we're going to be looking at, but before we look at it, I want to let you know that today is the last video of our 21 days. It's our last video because tomorrow I'm not going to post a video. Tomorrow, instead of you turning on your social media, YouTube or Facebook, and, and watching someone talk to you about prayer, I want you to do it. I want you to join us. Tomorrow at some point after 7.30 and before 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I want you to head to the mall, the Tippecanoe County Mall, go to the Sears Auto Center. Sears isn't there anymore, they're not running the Auto Center, but back behind the mall, they are going to be running the Convoy of Hope. And I know some of you have volunteered. I volunteered. I'm going to be there during the majority of the day, beginning around 10 o'clock. And, uh, but I know some of you have volunteered. Some of you haven't volunteered. And this isn't a last-minute ploy to try to get you to volunteer. This is a last-minute ploy to try to get you to pray. We don't know who's going to show up there tomorrow. We're convinced that the turnout tomorrow is probably going to be less than it has been in the past. We're convinced that the volunteer turnout might be less than it has been in the past. And we are concerned that maybe we're going to put in all this effort and some people are going to be disappointed by the turnout being too small. I want you to be there to pray that the turnout is exactly right. See, I know there are going to be a lot of people who don't come. But that just means that the people who do come are expressing an even deeper level of need. Those people who do show up on Saturday morning are going to be expressing an even higher sense of urgency. And even though everything about this Convoy of Hope is going to be different from normal, one thing that we know is that the people who show up desperately need someone to show them some love. I want that to be you and me. I want it to be us. And so whether you're participating in the day or not, I want you to show up at some point during the day and pray. Pray at the event, for the event, and for the people who are there. So, now, I want to take you to a passage about being heroic. This is in Romans chapter 12. I read it this morning and I thought it was important and I used it for a, a thing that I've been writing and I just think it's incredible. I'm going to read a rather large section of it to you. Paul writes in Romans 12 beginning in verse 3, he says, for, though, for through the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you not to think more highly of himself than he ought to think, but to think so as to have sound judgment, as God has allotted to each a measure of faith. For just as we have many members in one body, and all the members do not have the same function, so we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, each of us is to exercise them accordingly. If prophecy, according to the proportion of his faith. If service, in serving. Or he who teaches, in his teaching. Or he who exhorts, in his exhortation. He who gives, with liberality. He who leads, with diligence. He who shows mercy, with cheerfulness. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor. Not lagging behind in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, persevering in tribulation, devoted to prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, practicing hospitality. In the ancient world, hospitality was the effort of sharing your home and your resources with someone who's on a journey. People who were on a journey back then wouldn't stay in an inn or a hotel because those were places of ill repute. You, don't, you go to an inn for certain services that an innkeeper might provide, and those services don't generally involve a good night's sleep. Back in those days, 
Hospitality was the only way a traveler could be safe. Hospitality is when someone who needs goes to a stranger who gives them aid. Saturday morning is our chance to show some hospitality. This passage in Romans 12 elevates to us one thing that we need to realize. You are a superhero because God has given you a unique set of gifts and a unique set of abilities that only you have. Your unique mixture of those things is unique to you. And if you don't use that mixture of gifts for God's kingdom and his purposes in this world, then we all miss out. Batman isn't a superhero because he's a mutant. Batman is a superhero because he has a unique set of gifts, including a unique set of pains and a unique set of joys. And of course, he's, you know, a billionaire and that changes things and he's then capable of getting some really cool toys and all of that stuff. But the point is that he has unique gifts and skills. And so do we. So do you. God has given you a unique set of gifts and skills that make you a superhero for his kingdom. And if you don't know what they are, there are a couple that you can do anyway. One is to serve. It says in this passage, if a person's gift is to serve, then serve. And if you don't know what else your gift might be, one thing you know is that you have the ability to serve other people. So there you go. And the other one is to pray. At the end it said, just, you know, keep on praying and show hospitality. Listen, I know you feel limited. I know you feel incapable. I know you feel like these circumstances of these days are throwing you into disarray yourself. And it's hard to feel like you've got something to give others when you feel such a need yourself. But I want to remind you that the blessings God gives to us, he gives that we might give. And when we give his blessings away, there's more room for him to give more. I want to encourage you today to spend a few moments in prayer saying, God, help me understand my gifts. Help me understand what it means for me to serve. Help me understand what it means for me to serve others and to serve in my gifts, even in the weirdness of this time. And then I challenge you to join me on Saturday. Come out at some point between 7.30 and 2 o'clock to that auto area behind the Sears. You'll see the tents. You'll see the crowd. I want you to go there so that you can pray on site. You might want to pray for a person. You might want to actually go up to a volunteer and strengthen them with your prayers. You might want to go up to someone who's a recipient of aid on that day and offer them your prayer. Or you might just stay off at a distance, parked in the drive through at Wendy's, praying for what's going on behind your car. But join me there, would you? And join me today for our last day of digital prayer. And tomorrow, for a great day of in-person activity, in-person prayer. Let me pray for you now. Lord God, I ask that you would embolden us to be people of hospitality in this world today. We are not in a world that requires us to invite strangers into our home. And in fact, many of, many of us would feel rightfully uncomfortable doing so. But this is our opportunity. These kinds of things are our opportunities to demonstrate hospitality for people, to, to meet the needs of a needy person from our abundance, and not even from our abundance, from the abundance of others who've already donated, others who've already generously provided. Lord, help us to do the minimum we can do, and then to do even more. Would you gather us together on Saturday to be people of prayer for this event? Not because we want the event to succeed, but we got, because we want your love to be spread. We want people to leave that day knowing that they are loved, whether it's because they have served or whether they have been served. 
Lord, make us into the servants you've called us to be. And let us exercise it even tomorrow as we do so. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this 21-day journey. Thank you for joining me today. And make sure you say hi to me tomorrow. If you're there before 10 o'clock, I'll have to trust you. But make sure you say hi to me tomorrow. Swing on by. Pray for us. And God bless you this day.